SPC's Human Rights and Social Development Division has been piloting the people-centered approach to development at the community level through its specific People Advancing Change program. It does this by building the capacity of its civil society organization grantees around the region to pilot this approach and build tools to assess the added value it brings to development. The nature of a PC requires the meaningful participation of affected communities, so the approach will never be the same, depending on the context and type of work being undertaken to ensure long-term sustainability and benefits to intended communities and beneficiaries. The people said the approach is uh, an approach where we include every people in every decision making at all levels and uh, at community level specifically. One of the most uh, very important things is that uh, people feel that they are taking ownership of any particular projects or any specific activities that we are implementing in the communities and it is very important in, when it comes to sustaining the project. We involve every people in the community during even the design of the project, during its implementation, until the project ends and when people feel that they are taking ownership of that project then the sustainability of the project will be maintained or sustained accordingly because they, they own the project. The Tongalese Association believed that advocating for people-centered approach is vital in recognizing our work as a civil society organization whether they are issues relating to GPV, HIV, mental health, drugs, sexual reproductive health or just basic human rights, policy decision makers need to be reminded that our voice is part of the discussion. We understand what is actually happening on the ground and would like to get involved. What is a people-centered approach and why is it important that we Pacific Island nations we do this? One is identifying the people group, know our targeted people. By doing this, we can really achieve our goals. Two is working with the people and not just working for the people. We involve the community reps in our meetings. We involve our stakeholders in our meetings. We involve the government offices in our meetings and let them know our goals, let them know our activities and together we work to achieve our goals. We in the Pacific, we are one people, one Pacific, but we do have different cultures. We do have different ways of doing things. Knowing our culture, knowing our protocols is very important when carrying out our project or our activities. And the fourth point is test it out, do reviews, learn from, our previous uh, projects and make uh, adjustments to achieve our goals.